Heinemann Hyatt. Chapter 4, Trigonometry Graphs and Equations. Next exercise 4J at the end, number 12. Now careful of this, look. It says T, not T degrees. So T is going to be in radians. And it would have to be that, because otherwise this graph's only going up as far as 0.5 of 24. It's only going up to 12 degrees. No, it's a tide, and you, there's two tides a day. This should be almost two wavelengths in this particular pattern. And there is, because if that's in radians, it's going up to 12 radians. And 12 radians divided by each of the wavelengths of 2 pi, which is 6 and a bit, gives you almost two complete wavelengths, just a bit under 2, because you're dividing by 6.28. So the picture would be something like this. Notice it's starting 35 up. So starting 35 up, that's the mean level, if you like the mean water level, because it's oscillating, and it's going up and down 15 about that, but it's a cosine. So it's going from 15 above to 15 below, and it's going to go through that almost two times by the time you get to 24 hours. That would be <coughs> the proper number of wavelengths there. So what's that? So that's at 35. If it's somebody said, what's the highest it ever gets to? Well, it's 15 more than that, isn't it? It's going to go up to 50. What's the lowest it ever gets to? 15 off of that is 20. So what does the question say? A ship with a draft of 25, well, that means that the water level about 25 is in the harbour at midnight when there's 50, so there's plenty of water beneath it. What time must it leave to prevent grounding? Well, it'll have to leave before it hits 25, that's for sure. So it'd have to leave before there. So I want to know, what's that point in the graph? What time is that? At what time does the height drop down to 25? Do not all in radians. Right, well that means I've got 35 plus 15 cos 0.5t has to equal 25. So 15 cos 0.5t, take the 35 away, it will be negative 10. So cos 0.5t divided by the... So that's negative 2 thirds. So 0.5t is going to be inverse cos of negative 2 thirds in radians though. So make sure it's set to radians. So I'll use my cast diagram for that all sine tan cos and if I do inverse cos of the two thirds let the negative get taken care of by the diagram I get 0 0.841 radians where the cosine is negative so that would be there or there and of course those are those two positions there so the first part just says for this position well that's pi radians there so I need to know how far round is that so I've got 0.5t will be 0.841 short of pi, so I just do pi minus 8.41 and I get 2.3005, so t is going to be double that, 4.601, that's the time number of hours after midnight, so that means the time is going to be, well the 4 means 4 hours after midnight, so 04, the decimal part, 0 0.6, 01, multiplied by 60 to change it to minutes, will be 36. So it'll have to leave before 04, 36. Now part B, it's just the same calculation, because it says, what time can it return? Well, it can't return, it'd have to sail away until this time here. That's T1, there's T2. Well, that's just the other one from that graph. That's going to be 0 0.841 beyond pi. So for time 2, let's put it this way then, time 2, call that time 1, it's going to be pi plus 0.841. So time, well, I'll put it down that way, pi plus 0.841. So that's going to be 3.982 and so on. And that was 0.5, sorry, of that. It's going to give you that. So T2 is going to be double that, which is 7.96. Five that's just to extend the decimal places. That's hours after midnight. So the time it can return at is going to be 07 and then 60 times 0.965, which is 58 to the nearest minute. There. 